and access with fill a point. Windows 10 provides controls for setting up a computer for persons with limited or low vision. Right click on your monitor. Go to Personalize. In my last video, I talked about how to change the colors. And you'll see that there is a problem with Windows 10. And that is if you do change the colors, there's sometimes a contrast issue on some of these links. You see, put my pointer over here, these are actually links, but they're very difficult to read. If someone has low vision, they may need a whole different system. So let me change the color here. And I'm going to change it to a warmer color, such as this orange. And then you'll see right here that now you have white letters on orange and that isn't necessarily the best visible means of setting up the desktop or setting up the Windows 10 system. And so what I'm going to do now is show you the high contrast settings that are here in the colors panel. Another way to get to these is to go to the control panel and go to the access center. But right now, I'm just going to use the high contrast settings. And this allows me, when I turn this on, and there's two ways to turn it on. There's one to switch it on here, and the other is to use a keystroke that I have set up. So I'm using the mouse here and setting up the high contrast. So the next thing we're going to look at is how that affects Microsoft Word. So currently, it shows me that the text will be white, hyperlinks yellow, disable text green, selected text with this blue background with black letters. And so you see this is very high and distinct contrast. Let's take a look at Microsoft Word. So here is the white letters, and you see the white letters for the menus. Now let's go back and change this to high contrast white and it basically inverts the entire setup instead of there being white letters here you're on a black background you're going to have black letters on a white background and all these other changes are also similar you can also change it to these other two settings contrast one and two so contrast one will turn the text yellow and contrast two will turn it green so let's look at word again and you see that the text in some of these is now green. Another type of change that you can add to this, I'm first going to turn off high contrast, is to use the color filters. Now color filters also has this toggle for on and off. You can also use this keystroke, the Windows key, Control and C to turn them on and off. So if you have someone who can't stand the colors, they can also use grayscale. So let's look at grayscale. And this is File Explorer. And you see this is what it looks like. Now let's go back and do the grayscale inverted and look at the file system. Another thing that you can do to help people with low vision is to change the cursor and pointer size. So let's go to that section of ease of access. And you'll see that we have some choices here. Let's go ahead and bring up a Word document and then minimize this so that we can fit it in the screen here so we can see them side by side. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is show you, see this little thin line here? That's where the cursor is. And if I take this drag bar here and drag it across all the way to the end here and then go back to Word you'll see that the bar is huge and so you can adjust this for the individual and you see now that we can change the pointer size by selecting these different types I'm going to show you right now that the mouse pointer is small and the eye bar is small so if I put my pointer on this screen here or on this screen that's the eye bar and that's the pointer and you see it's kind of small so if I come over here and check this one let's go back to Word and now you see the eye bar is larger 
and when I come over here the mouse is larger. But that's not all you can do. You can also use the magnifier here and you can turn that on and you see the screen immediately jumps up and I can change the zoom level by clicking here and it also has a keystroke which is Windows and the plus key to turn it on and Windows and the escape key to turn it off so let's press the Windows key and escape and we now turn it off so you have the toggle here and you have the keystroke the other thing that you can do is you can adjust the font a little bit so that it would appear more clearly to the person with low vision. We're going to go to home and then we're going to go to personalize. And instead of changing the colors of the background, this time we're going to go to fonts. And then over here on the very right it says adjust clear type text. And you click that and then you turn on the clear type and it's supposed to make it easier to read. Then you click Next, and there's kind of a test that happens. So you click Next, and it will have you adjust your monitors. So you have the person sit and look at the two choices, and then they click Next, and then they find the one that's the clearest to them, and they click and click the Next button, until they have selected the clearest looking type each time they go through this. And then they would proceed through the next monitor as well if they have two. And so then you do the same thing. And when you finish and you go back to your desktop, they should be able to see a clear type here. That about covers everything I have for you. You can buy commercial software such as ZoomText to enlarge the screen and do some of these same changes, inverting the screen, changing the color, and so forth. But that's a commercial product. But for Windows 10, that's what you have, other than using a speech software, such as the feature called Narrator.